Welcome to today's show. I'm here today with Ganesh Chapagai. Ganesh is a mechanical engineer and uh, came over from Nepal, uh, schooled in the U.S. and recently launched a company. But Ganesh, it's good to have you with us today. Thank you, Alan. Thanks for having me. So Ganesh, uh, for the listeners, can you kind of, I, I gave a brief overview, but can you give a more in-depth overview of your your pathway in life of what brought you up to where you are today? Absolutely. Absolutely. So Alan, I grew up in Nepal, a few hours out, outside a capital city, Kathmandu. Uh, I, I was born and raised there. I, I grew up uh, in a small farm. So my my grandfather, he, he farmed there, uh, and, and my, my parents did that as well, uh, including my uncles and my extended family. I grew up in this big family, uh, and early on, I, I learned the importance of work ethic and hard work uh, growing up uh, in, in a farm. Uh, so, but I was always good with math and science, and I was, I was a good student growing up, um, and I, I ended up coming to the United States for a college and I, I, I had scholarships. So I ended up going to Texas Tech, studied mechanical engineering there, moved to the San Francisco Bay Area, worked there for a few years uh, as an engineer, did my graduate school there while I was there uh, and uh, launched my company a little less than two years ago. Uh, yeah, that's my, that's my journey. So, so when you came over here, um, it must've been a big move leaving family and uh, immigrating here. Well, you, you came on a student visa? I did, I did. Okay, and then uh, what was it like? Uh, new country, was there any family members around or were you all by yourself? I was all by myself, Alan. It, it was, it's very different. So growing up in Nepal, you, um, you, you live a very different life. You, you live a life of, you know, you're self-sufficient as a family, you, you grow your own food, uh, you know your, know people around you, you know your neighbors, you, um, you you have this close group of friends, you you play with your friends, and, and it's a, it's, it's a very different life. Coming here, it was a, it was a big transition for me. Uh, I, you know, I, in, in, while I was in college, I, uh, I had to learn uh, the, the American way of making friends, the American food, the American culture, and, and the American way of learning, uh, w- which was a big transition for sure. Huge changes there. And then uh, after a short stint on working for somebody else, you launched out, set up your own company, Aoka. Aoka is, uh, how how'd that name come about, by the way? That's a good question. Yes. So Aoka, the name comes from this ferocious fighter in the East, okay. Isoka. I wanted to name the company after him, who was not just a ferocious fighter, but he, uh, a- after 40 years of his life, he ended up uh, starting this path of spirituality and impacted lives of millions of people. And and obviously, I couldn't get the domain name Isoka, so I ended up dropping the S and <laughs> took Aoka. So, so uh, getting the company going, uh, what was the inspiration for it? Sure. So I was in Western United States building data center for Facebook. Uh, and while I was doing that, uh, I was in this small town called Eagle Mountain in Utah. And as soon as uh, the, the, the town found out that Facebook was building this massive data center. They saw this huge influx of people wanting to build homes, start businesses in, in that small city. And so I, 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 I was, you know, on jobs on the site, job site every day, building that data center. I, I had this really good opportunity of working with people from, from the city of Eagle Mountain, the small city. And I saw this, um, th- they were extremely overwhelmed. They, uh, they were not very tech savvy. They, um, you know, they were, they were a small city. Um, 
and and I saw this need that uh, someone has to help these smaller jurisdictions uh, if they're booming, if they're growing, especially the Eastern migration from, from the West Coast of the United States, from Oregon, California, and Washington, you, you're, now you're seeing this huge influx of people moving to Arizona, Idaho, uh, Utah, uh, in, in, in these states. And, and, but they're just not ready to grow. So someone has to help them out. That's, that's, that's inspired me to launch the company. What was it like getting your first client? How, how, how did that come about? That's a good question. And, and it's always hard to get a first client, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so my, my first client came, came through um, an, someone that I knew. Uh, he, him and I, he was a structural engineer. I was a mechanical engineer. And we thought we would complement each other. And we decided to do some projects together. And he knew someone in Arizona who was a smaller company like us, but they were struggling uh, when it comes to finding uh, people who could provide building department services. And we stepped in and we told them, hey, we're a smaller company, uh, but we would love to help you. Uh, And and they fortunately, they let us and I'm so grateful for that. And that, that was our first client. You know, it's it's always something not only getting the first client, but also getting the second, third, and growing. So after you identified your pain point of AOCA uh, that that or the need that you would fill in in the market, um, how did you go about gaining the the competency to address the problems and then scale your company? And by the way, your two year old company, how big are you today? We're about fifteen people big. Okay. Okay. So, so as you, as you built this out, how did you go about finding people? Because you're competing with Facebook, you're competing with the big guys and there you are a new startup, you know, trying to attract talent so you can grow. Um, What was your process there? (laughs) That's a good question. Uh, So early on, I, I realized that I, I can't do everything on my own. So my goal early on was to find really smart people uh, to surround myself with. And so we started this LinkedIn campaign where we we started reaching out to people in our industry uh, who could be a potential match uh, who uh, who, who is entrepreneurial, who wants to, um, wants to grow with the company and who, who really wants to make an impact in the industry. Uh, we, we, we started finding these people and we started having a conversation. And if that was a good match, if we both felt like uh, our why in, in life matched, then we would uh, work together. That's, that's our hiring process. I'm still heavily involved and I hope to be heavily involved in the hiring process for another few years. You know, the, the startup companies are exactly that. You're, you're continually growing, you're continually scaling, continually adjusting. So let's talk about where you're at after two years, uh, types of services that you're now able to offer with your 15 engineers. Right, so it's, yeah. So it's not just engineers, let me clarify that. So we have software engineers, we have um, structural and mechanical engineers, we have inspectors, uh, construction inspectors, and we have construction plans examiners. So our our 15 people is uh, made up of that uh, category. And um, so, yeah, to to start out with, uh, I I wanted to help these jurisdictions. Uh, Let me backtrack a little bit. and, and with my skill set, I was asking myself, what can I do? What can I contribute with my engineering degree and my love for technology? Uh, so we started out by, uh, by, by as, as a construction technology company. 
uh, our, our goal was to help, uh, or still is to help, uh, smaller jurisdictions like less than 10,000 people. Uh, we, we, we built this software, we call it plan review software. Our software is called Vertex Plans. And, and the Vertex Plans, what it does is it helps connect your building department of a city with their citizen, uh, with contractors, architects, and their internal st staff in this one platform. Are we the first company to do it? No, we're not. There are, there are uh, other companies who, who do it, but they're just extremely expensive. And a smaller jurisdiction, they, they just couldn't afford to buy a uh, $200,000 software as a service um, you know, product. Uh, and, and so what we, what I early on decided to do was I decided to give it, give the software for free. If you're a small jurisdiction, less than 10,000 people, I wanted to give it for free. But obviously, you know, that business model won't take you very far. Um, and people that I was working with started telling me, look, this is not going to work. We have to find a way to fund the business. Um, and I, I wanted to bootstrap the company. So we started providing other services like plan review services, construction inspection services. And that, that, that's how, uh, that's, that's what, that's why we are where we are with the team that we have. You know, it's brilliant uh, gaining market share by giving away uh, the software. And that's a lot of companies have, have seen their growth through that over the years. Um, so as you, as you've grown out, are, are you having fun? Ganesh? <laughs> well, you have to define fun. I imagine you you're putting a lot of midnight oil or burning midnight oil right now um, as you built it out. Absolutely. So when, when you look at looking forward, what do you see Aoka in the next five years? That that's a good question. So we are aiming to go after small cities, less than ten thousand people, and we. We want to bring them up. Uh, if you're a building official, if you're a city manager, if you're a um, community development manager in these smaller jurisdictions, you have a lot of pressure. You have political pressure. You have financial pressure. You have document management pressure. That's why you see a very high turnover um, in, in, in this in smaller jurisdictions. And we want to change that. We want to increase the retention rate by helping uh, these individuals with our software pl platform where they can manage documents, they can manage permitting process, they can manage plan review uh, easily we, and, and without any cost. Um, and that's, that's our goal. Our goal is to help smaller jurisdictions in the next five years, as many as we can. And how, how, how does a person go about reaching you, Ganesh? So you can come to our um, software, vertexplans.com. You can uh, schedule a demo there. You, you can also uh, come to our website, aokaengineering.com. There, there, there is email address and phone number, contact us page. You, you can find us there. Okay, very good. Well, Ganesh, it's a pleasure having you with us today. I've, I've been visiting here today with Ganesh Chap again, and uh, best wishes to you in the future of AOCA.